22 starting it off with a family boating trip out of the sea straight and uh, trying to catch a fish have a bit of a picnic just enjoy the beautiful day it is the first good day of weather since cyclone uh, Seth has been hovering off the coast here and the boat ramp here in Harvey Bay is quite busy it is school holidays still obviously though the first week of 2022 anyways we're gonna get out there have a bit of a look around, have a bit of a fish, a bit of a picnic, see what we can find. So, let's get into it. spot for today we are at the gas shed at uh, Big Woody Island so you can see behind me there's a little building down there and that was the building where they used to store and deliver the gas kerosene I think it was back in the day to power the lighthouse which you can see behind me at the, the peak of the um, of the hill there this is on Big Woody Island so back in the day there used to be a manned lighthouse there and obviously that's where they used to hang on here I'll show you there you go there used to be family living to maintain the lighthouse and there was actually a, another one north bluff they called it yeah yeah that's north bluff and this one's middle bluff and this one's a little goat track going right to the top of there so you can go and have a look um if you can get off here i don't think we will today the tide it's a king tide and the swell's coming in a bit so it might be a bit dangerous to get on and off um but yeah it's really interesting a lot of history there they even had a house site closer to the North Bluff. So the lighthouse keeper used to go from his home to the North Bluff and then he used to walk all the way down here to the Middle Bluff just to light them up every day. Think of that. Yeah, you mentioned uh, goat track. We missed the goats literally when we arrived in 1991. That's when they eradicated goat which were regarded as pests. They would be. They would have been ruining the vegetation here. Yeah, that's there were that right. many goats. They used to keep goats for their meat supply. Yeah. yeah in a lot of these lighthouse islands. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we miss the goats, though. There, there are goat skulls there. You might see some <coughs> if you're lucky. Um, but the vegetation has bounced back, so that's good to see at least. Yeah. In here is a good. Uh, fishing especially brim at uh, winter time one time i was here by myself in two feet of water and a tiger shark came and uh, went around my boat just to check out on me the tiger shark was length of this boat uh, it, it it had a bit of a hair rising on me but yeah it was a sight to see <clears throat> just literally around the boat like that just here yeah. on two feet of water yeah, the boat was sitting on two feet of water <laughs> yeah. all right guys i hope the audio is coming out all right i've got the gopro naked as in there's no external microphones or anything it's a little bit breezy today and there's a lot of sarcasses on the island so hopefully the audio is coming out all right um there's a lot of information there anyways we're gonna get in <clears throat> Anyways, we're going to get into it with the lines, see what we can pull up. I just saw down on the boat down there, they had a little fish on board, so it's a good sign. Let's get into it. Okay guys, the lines are out, we're waiting for a fish. Uh, while we're waiting, why don't you guys check out our little trip we did to Pelican Banks, eh? Hey guys, welcome to Adventuring Pals. Very special episode here today. We are exploring Pelican 
bank on uh, the Fraser Coast, right near Gari. That's Gari behind us over there. Uh, <laughs> funny thing, 30 years ago when my wife first moved to Harvey Bay, this used to be a sand bank and nothing more than that. Used to go under at high tide, 30 years later, and this is it now. It's got vegetation, it's got a bird population, stinks of birds. <laughs> But pretty little awesome place, pretty picturesque. I've seen a lot of this island pop up in the social medias lately. It's so. become quite popular recently. Yeah, it has. Oh, no. They, it is very beautiful. Yeah, they said it's the Maldives in Queensland. So it's pretty amazing. Come and check it out. Come and check it out. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to explore the island a little bit. We're going to go try our luck at a bit more fishing and uh, just see what the day brings. This is the first good weather day we've had in Harvey Bay for a couple of weeks now. So the waterways are busy and it's a Sunday. So lots of people out on the water enjoying the beautiful day. We're going to try and catch some fish and just see what the day brings us, eh? Yeah, let's go. Let's get into it. Oh, catching It's 29. 29 and oh, nearly 30, but it's gonna go. It's nearly 30. But it's gonna get below 30. Alright, so in the last minute, we've brought on board one more eel, threw back. One 29 centimeter coral bream, which we threw back because legal size, minimum size limit is 30. Anyway, it's a good start. Well, at least we're catching stuff, hey. I can see, I can see all the black eels. Oh, the keeper. What's the opposite of Kifa? Is it a Kifa? Tossa. It's a Tossa, boys. That's number three that has to be put back. <laughs> Dan, I've just pulled up a coral brim, Dan. How's the coral brim looking? Shark bite. <laughs> Oh, this it's quite a, to be very aggressive quite a quick thing, uh, quite a big thing over here in the bay lately in the last couple of oh, seasons. It's here, it's here. I can see, I see the yellow, oh, yeah. yellow. Tail. That is not a shark, that's a big barracuda, huge oh, barracuda. Man, we... That's a booty! <gasps> a booty! That's my first coral trail to bring up. I reckon this might just be legal. I reckon so too. Guys, I'm so stoked. This is my first coral trout I've ever caught. She reckon, I reckon she might be borderline this one. 38 it needs to be. Yeah. yeah. Yes. My first ever <laughs> coral trout. She's of legal size. This is a bar cheeked coral trout. You can tell all the, the lines on the uh, on the face and the on the cheeks are more of a bar than the dots. And the common coral trout, which is just covered in dots. We don't really get them here in Harvey Bay. This is the common coral trout we catch, which is a barchi coral trout. And yeah. she's legal size. I'm so stoked. This is going to be awesome. I love it. How beautiful is this fish, man? Stick it up in the, in the sun. Yeah. <sighs>
god. Oh, Nana. Nana! Jay, baby, I want you to stand up and come on this side. Daddy, Nana, oh, it's okay, it's going to stand so All righty guys, so <laughs> we moved spots again. First cast got this nice little coral brim. Beautiful little eye makeup there. That's how you know it's a coral brim. 30 centimeters minimum size. This one here is well and truly over that. Um, so yeah, pretty happy days, eh? See what else we can get out there. Nana here, he just lost a big one. Bent the hook straight, so one eye hook. Uh, yeah, must have been a big fish there. This beautiful little guy here is a stripey in Queensland here. Minimum legal size is 25 centimeters. This guy is 26, so we will keep him. We've already got a bit of fish there, so we add it to the add it to the pot, eh? Hello. Go. Oh. Gone. Why? Second one. All these hooks are cheap line hooks from a department store, not from this here. Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys. Time for a bit of lunch. Got some rice and stuff from home. And we are at Big Woody Island again, just uh, just north from where we started off this morning at the gas shed. Here there's two campgrounds and one day we're going to bring the kids and camp here overnight. Matter of getting our own boat and our camping gear and just coming here, it's going to be pretty awesome. But for now, just going to get in the water, have a dive, cool off and enjoy. So, what do you reckon? Let's go? Yes! Yeah. Let's go guys. Hey, how would that be? Nice, pretty, pretty awesome little camp spot, eh? Hey? You bring in, drop all the camping gear off the boat here. There's two sites just behind the sign and just a bit further south from here. But nice, cleared out spot. Beautiful, eh? Can't wait to come here one day, bring a little tent and uh, camp it out. These are the two sites. Awesome, eh? Hey? Big little, uh, quite a big island here. You can. Uh, Wander around and explore and yeah, be good. No fresh water. No, no. God's go. Yeah, there's, uh, there's nothing on the island. Hey, there's no water. There's no toilets. Anything like that. So it's completely uh, self-sufficient. Oh, lots of prickles. Brilliant. Plant. It's got to be completely self-sufficient camping required. So I'll uh, be work our way up to that one day. I reckon. There's a uh, pretty good fishing off the beach here too at times, especially in the winter when the when the brim are on.
well guys that is a wrap from us on this one we really hope you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you did we'll hope to catch you in the next one until then stay safe